in his first win period since October the 7th, 48 days ago. UND Anchorage underway in game two of the Subway Holiday Classic from Grand Forks. Well, the early whistle, by the way, means we're in four on four right now. As you see Rhett Gardner in the box for cross-checking. Eric Sinclair in the box for Anchorage. Roughing the call against Sinclair and the singles strike first. A bouncing puck that's lifted up over Adam Scheel. Unsure here if that, if he does that, he go back behind that goal line or not. And I said last night there was one that was very close to the zone entry, and this one here is right there. He flips that puck. Not sure if he skates offside or not, but they're trying to buy a little bit of time here, and especially with injuries too. He's just so thing. smart. Yep, keeping them healthy when they get things up. I, I remember. Oh, Shaw in front. Nice speed. Gardner got that puck. In between his legs, nearly got a shot off into an empty net. Pullman, he was one of those guys that I think he invented this tape job on Andy Kohler's knee because he had this funky thing, and I remember him standing on the training table having to tape this thing up, as you see with North Dakota. Very good look, and Rhett Gardner, even between his legs, he goes through and gets a couple opportunities on that. But again... Jolgen at screen, and now feet in front, half chipping away. Puck did not cross the goal line. Whistles here with 5.19 left in the first. On a penalty shot attempt early in the first. Shot by Colin Adams. Moose! Gabe Bass, a great chance there. The rolling puck, though, did not fall to the stick of the sophomore defenseman. Shot never quite got off for the sophomore from Ohio. A couple of Ohio natives, the Buckeye State, well represented in this series. And it's another own goal as Cole Smith Redirects this one goalward and pass shield. Talk about that puck luck and gotta keep working hard. The hockey gods eventually go your way, but right here, just nothing you can do. Things become a little bit more difficult for UND. It's Colin Adams now trying to change that. The backhander thrown towards Stead. He makes the stop. Jackson Keane. Quick shot. Special save on Bowen, again another acrobatic stop from the sophomore. You kept waiting for the signal, now Bernard Docker fits the back of the net! Off the glove of the goaltender and it cuts the goal line, and it's 2-1. to one. North Dakota cuts the deficit in half to the freshman defenseman. Here he just keeps driving, driving, driving. He just whittles his way and he makes sure he finds the lane. But credit Alaska, look how hard this is. He's got a pump fake three, four times before he's even able to find a lane to get that through. Stett gets a good glove on that. It's just nice, a little bit ripped up. He'll throw one in front. Jenna Twain in there, and after that, kicks it off the pipe and out. When it is not going. Here's it alongside him. Colton will throw it down. Keen, another quick sharp angle shot. The follow up by Bowen goes wide. And get that through. But you just got to go out and work. Pullman, that shot off the iron and out of play. Four power play goals in the last two games. With the man advantage going silent here, Kirsten! Not Relentless on the puck right here. He finds Kirsten streaking in, and Kirsten makes an absolute brilliant shot. Blocker high. What what relentlessness on this puck, though. And then to find and navigate that through some traffic. Jacob Bernard Docker off the face up. Look at face-off win, boy. This guy is something special in that dot. He just wins them at pivotal times, and he goes right to the net, gets So two goals that come 43 seconds apart, both on the power play. And now a chance. a man mature before your eyes right here this is a guy that's taken this team on his back 
this third period. He's doing all the little things right here. You see the toe drag and how you can elevate that puck on your backhand glove side. Lasky Anchorage is going to get a timeout, but the other thing is already about the faceoff. Faceoff won by the Seawolves off the Whoop. crossbar. The blast from Tommy Heikaverda beat Seal. Didn't beat the iron though. The secondary attempt goes off Brad Shepard. Nicholas Sir Beckholm as the second stick away. Kamaguchi gets the call. Janet's winning in a race with four seconds. And that's going to do it. Here from the right, North Dakota comes all the way back from 3 1 down in the third. They complete the sweep 4 to 3 in dramatic fashion. Very passionate. He's a guy that I think the players can get behind and really rally.